we're back at the robot studio labs right now it's craig again and now we're going to create some targets on our work object and we're going to make sure the robot can reach all those targets um, in order to set up paths for the robot to move through we have to have targets uh, in order to define where the path moves from so in the order in which the instructions are stored on the path is the order in which they're going to be executed on the robot so we're going to create this path where the robot moves along the sides of the small box on top of the large one. And we're going to do this by graphical programming, that is making selections in the graphics windows. Now there's a few steps we have to take in order to achieve the working robot path. First, we have to use the corners of the box and the graphics to create targets. And the second step will be to adjust the orientation of the target. Finally, we will add these targets to the path and set appropriate access configurations for each instruction. So let's start by moving the robot to its home position. So click on the robot and move to jump home. And the robot should take a, a good posture like this. Keep it out of the way. Next, we want to choose the uh, part selection and we want to snap to ends. OK, now we're ready to, uh, to create the targets. To do that, we move to the target menu. Uh, and we select create target and the create target box shows up here um, we'll choose the first location and you should do these in the order that I'm doing them we're going to choose uh, the lower left hand corner first and then the lower right hand corner then the upper right hand corner then the upper left hand corner so starting with the lower left we choose the target point one shows up there and we'll put the next target in, point two shows up. Then we put the third target in, point three shows up. And finally, we put the fourth target in, and point four shows up. So now we have all four points uh, completed. So we'll simply create target, and we're done. So at this point, you can close this uh, create target box. We have our four targets. Now you notice there's a frame. A reference frame around each point those reference frames are actually upside down so we're going to have to make sure they're right side up we have to adjust the target orientation so they're so the tool isn't approaching them from the bottom now if you want uh, the next thing to do is select target 10 and right click on it and we want to say view tool at target and then choose the pen if it's not already chosen okay View tool at target pin. Now, when you selected the target, the tool is actually there's a copy of the tool that shows up on the bottom inside the uh, in the target, but you can only see a part of it showing up inside the box. So the tool's obviously inside the box. That's no good, but we want to see the tool. So let's make the box invisible. So if we go back to layout and we choose box, right click on it and click on the visible button. The box is now invisible. So if we go back to our target 10, you can see uh, our tool upside down. In fact, if you click on any of the targets, you'll see that the tool is upside down because these frames are upside down. We want to have them 180 degrees out of, uh, out of phase. So what we want to do now is select the target, this target for instance, and we're going to modify target, rotate. Okay, now up here, uh, the rotate should be based on the uh, on the local frame, not the world. The world is the base of the robot. If we if we leave this um, freehand on world, you can see we're rotating it around this point. We want to rotate it around our local frame. So we'll click on local, and you can see all the uh, all the arrows show up. So now we want to set the position by rotating it. So I'm going to just choose the green arrow. And I'm going to rotate the uh, gripper around so it's now above the target, not below. And perhaps uh, we'll give it a little bit of an angle, maybe 15 degrees or so, like that. Okay, now we've rotated the target and, uh, and we can see. Uh, how it looks. Um, at this point, we can 
select that target, and we're going to copy the orientation that that target has. Now, if you look at target 10, it's upside down still, and target 30 is upside down. Sorry, target 20, target 30, target 40, they're all upside down. So you, and target 10 is right side up. So we'll choose target 10, sorry, target 20, 30, and 40, right click on them, and we're going to say apply orientation. So now, you can see the target is easily reachable at all four locations. All right, now we can take the target and we can turn off view tool at target. And we can also turn off view robot at target. Now let's let's put our boxes back in the picture. So we'll choose box and we'll right click on it and say visible. So now our box is visible and we can see the four targets on the box. Now I'm going to take the robot and we're just going to move it back to its home position. Get it out of the way again. Now let's add those targets to a path. So we're going to move the paths and targets. We have four targets right here and we're going to create a path on them. Now there is an empty path uh, that we're going to create. So we'll choose path and create empty path. And it's called path 10. That's fine. Now we're going to right click on that and we're going to give it a new name. So we'll right click on it and rename it path around box. And you can see that didn't take. Uh, the reason is you can't put spaces in your path name. So we're just going to rename it path underscore around underscore box. Hit enter. Success. Now we've got the path around the box. Now on the status bar below, right at the bottom, you can see the default uh, instruction parameters for the path. Uh, move linear, move L is the first thing to show up, and uh, we're going to leave it like that. The next uh, parameter is the velocity, velocity of 1,000 uh, millimeters a second. Let's change that to 300 to slow it down a little bit. Um, we want the zone to be, right now, the zone is set to be 100 millimeter radius from each target. Let's make it fine, which is as, as detailed as the robot can go. And we're going to use the pen tool center point, which is good. There's our pen tool center point right there. And our work object is the box. So everything else seems to be great. We've got the instruction all set up to go. So what we're going to do is go back to the paths and targets area, and we're going to multi-select all four targets. Now, now that we've selected the targets on the modify tab up here, we're going to say add to path. Path around box. And now you can see all four of the uh, all four of the targets have now shown up on the path. Now, before we actually set up and run the simulation, we have to define what axis and configuration the robot should have for each target. Uh, as you can imagine, this particular point can be reached at this angle by several different postures of the robot, different angles of the joints and things like that. So we have to let the robot know which we feel is the most efficient configuration for that. To do that, we just choose the path and we move to the path, uh, the path select the path button, go to modify, and rather than do it manually, we're going to auto configure. So we just choose path around box, Auto configure, and you notice there's a. It, it's figured out there's four configurations, and if you click on each one, you can see the robot sort of taking a different posture to reach the same point. So there's all kinds of ways of doing it, and I believe that um, configuration two looks like it would be the most comfortable for the robot. So we're going to say configuration two. Uh, we don't need to include turns, and we cl click on apply. And now it's ready to go. So now we've actually completed 
the um, the path and everything seems to be working really well.